Okay, and we're live. Well, first off, let me get a little light. All right, I'm not sure how great that looks. I'm kind of new at this screencast thing, but I wanted to take a minute and look at some of the games from last week's tournament. Uh, so what I see here, we have the tournament on the screen, and it is a pretty close race. We've got one, two, three, four players with six points, one player with five, two with four, uh, and that's out of, out of 13 players, a lot of them, it seemed to be very competitive with each other. All right, so uh, according to the tie breaks, well, I'll explain what that means at some other time, but uh, Tristan is the top of the four place tie for first place. So let's start with Tristan's games. So he's got one game against Scooter Banana, one game against VOT, oh, I always forget who that is. Let me look it up here. Oh, that's Anushka. Yeah, very strong player. And then one game against Irish Shoe. Well, let's start with the first one against Scooter Banana. All right, here we go. Uh, this is a quick game, only nine moves. Uh, E4. Ooh, this, uh, this is an interesting opening choice. Uh, this might be a little advanced for you guys, but basically... Uh, this is called the Scandinavian defense. It's not the most common one. So uh, if you play a move that your opponent uh, is surprised by, that can be a big advantage for you. Let's see how this works out for, for a scooter. So Tristan takes. Now the normal thing to do when your opponent takes your piece is you just take them back if you can. If you can do it, and if you can do it safely, you almost always want to take them back. Otherwise, they're going to have a bigger army than you, and that's going to start to become a big problem. All right, well, this was an interesting move. He decided to ignore this pawn and just move E5. Uh, this is usually a really good idea because it opens up all these new squares for the pieces. The knight can, uh, well, the knight can come over. Also, the king has got a new option if he, for some reason, wanted to move. Now this usually is not a good idea. Uh, he's checking the king, which is good, but now the pawn can just block, and then after takes, takes, he's gonna have to run away with his bishop. And that's usually not a good idea. Uh, I think, looks like Scooter played the best possible move. White captures, which is good. Uh, now this was a big mistake by Scooter. He should have just taken back here, or at the very least taken back here. Uh, either way, um, now, by just capturing this pawn, yeah, this, this is a, a crushing attack now because uh, when the pawn got captured, it created a check, but also the pawn is about to take the rook, and also the pawn is about to turn into a new queen. So this is about as devastating a chess move as I've ever seen. So he blocks, he gets a new queen, he loses his bishop, uh, yes, but now poor, uh, poor Scooter Banana is going to have to face... Uh, a team with two queens against one, which is never fair. After a few more moves, this was a good move, just checking the king. And uh, it looks like Scooter just lost lost his will to fight at this point and gave up. Well, there probably was uh, options here. Maybe the best option would be to retreat the bishop and save your king by blocking the queen. And then maybe try to get your king castled. And... Uh, you know, white's definitely ahead by a whole queen, but look at all these pieces on their starting square. They're not very powerful. Meanwhile, black has these pieces towards the middle. 